Hey loves, welcome in to the channel. I hope that everybody's having an amazing day. This is going to be your ancestor messages. So let's get it. Okay, welcome into the channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing had an amazing weekend. Okay. Because it's almost over, right? Almost over. Hope you guys did some fun stuff, hanging out with family, barbecuing, partying, celebrating, okay? Um, whatever you guys are doing, I hope that you guys are enjoying. Are you guys getting ready to feel the energy of the season of Virgo? Hmm? Yes. Okay, a lot of awakenings are happening right now, okay? A lot of awakenings, a lot of energy shifts and changes within the universe as well, because there's a lot going on in humanity in the world, in the universe, all together. Okay, let's get into it. Ancestor messages. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm going to light us up some sage real quick, y'all. All right, and we're going to get on into it. Today, you guys, I'm recording this on Sunday. All right, you guys will probably get it today, all right, if not Monday. All right, I missed you guys in my absence. But I had to take some time out as God called me to do. Okay. The spirit of obedience. Y'all know that's a vibe. Okay. I'll be obedient out here. <laughs> okay. Let's get it. Let's go ahead and let's card some sage down. Okay. Cleanse that energy. Now let's talk. All right. So this title, uh, the title of this reading is going to be called A Gift That Could Change Your Life. Okay. Um, the divine told me that your he wants he just started explaining to me what explaining to me what was going on to your enemy. Okay, I was like, okay, Lord. So I'm just gonna share this with you guys, and then we'll kind of get into it. But um, God showed me that your enemies or people that were attacking you or abusing your your their authority or power over you um, or abusing you physically. Okay. Um, or spiritually, however it was, these people are receiving massive karma. God actually showed me um, some different things that was going on with them. Okay, He told me that one of them they're gonna they're gonna lose their mind literally. Okay, like they're going to lose their head. Okay, um, He showed me somebody in the spirit who had lost their head, but their head literally came off. I don't know what that's about. Take it as it resonates. Okay. Um, the other energy is that there's one that is suffering a fall, okay? I don't know if they're going to fall in the physical or is this a fall from grace, a fall, okay? Um, another one, their child, something's going on with their child, some form of illness. The Lord told me leprosy, okay? But I was like, oh, Lord, okay, y'all know that's the thing that's going around right now. Um and another one that sent you the evil eye, okay? They're about to be rolled over by the same evil eye that they sent you, okay? Um, God actually showed me a rolling evil eye, and he showed me it hit somebody like a bowling ball, a bowling pin, um, a bowling ball to a bowling pin, okay? I was like, oh, wow. So um, I don't know what that's about, but I, I only think I could take it is that there's a lot of karmic justice that's playing out, Okay. Um, and there's karmic justice that you are receiving and that's unfolding for the chosen, okay? Um, this energy is going to look like the frequency of the sun, okay? Happiness, joy, bliss, and also the Hierophant energy, okay? Higher elevation, higher mind, all right, higher consciousness. Um, the divine told me to tell you for your ancestor messages, prepare to receive abundance, okay? All right, so those are all my notes, okay, for this message. And so far out here, we have connect with past loved ones, okay? Sense, feel, and reconnect. And then we have whole self, self-health, okay? Natural therapies, balance, and Ayurveda. Um, already off top, you guys, I'm feeling the energy of Osiris. Like the energy of Osiris uh, wants to connect to you. Also, I'm hearing the energy of Ra, okay, with that sun energy. So it's this vibe where there's some higher deities that are ready to make some connections with you. Um, and in order to do that, you're needing to pay attention to your diet, okay? So back up off um, of, of things that are not of the earth as much as you can, okay? Um, try not to, you know, lean on medicines as supply. Allow God to reveal to you, allow your ancestors to reveal to you some remedies, healing remedies. You know how they have DIYs for things? Well, they have DIYs for remedies, ailments, and things like that. So if you guys... Um, 
you know, are into it, tap in. Okay, you're going to receive some form of communication, um, signs, healing, things that are going to heal you. Okay, um, this could be just when I say things of the earth, this is like fruits and vegetables. Okay, um, you could be deciding to start juicing, okay, or cleansing, doing detoxes, and things like that. This resets your body, y'all. I feel like this is a lot about somebody's health, just overall health, so that you can have an overall purified connection to the divine. Um, it's more pure. Um, it's more lasting, okay? Um, it's clearer, okay? So I feel like the divine is like, let's clear up this static, okay? Let's clear up um, the your frequency a bit, all right? Let's, let's tone your tune is what I'm hearing. Tune your tone, okay? All right, take that as a resume, all right? Anything else, ancestors? So we have notice the signs out here. Investigate, symbols nature spirits okay it's like the more fruits and vegetables you eat that's what your ancestors can connect to in order to be able to pass down messages to you all right so you could have been like pushed recently to um eat something also because some of you all have been under spiritual attack okay and under this spiritual attack i'm hearing duress under this spiritual attack attack or duress okay it's a vibe where um, if you are guided to eat something that you normally don't eat, it's outside of your normal uh, diet, okay? It's because that's something that's going to heal you or help you fight off the spiritual attacks, okay, that are being thrown at you. So we have teach and share. See, God needs you. You have a higher purpose here. Um, your higher purpose and attunement here is to teach and share, Okay, and that talks about instill, instruct, and educate, all right? Um, maybe this could be your ancestors that are wanting to educate you, teach you, instill in you um, more about these healthy diets or remedies or these DIYs. doesn't necessarily have to be tied to your diet. This could also be like different practices and rituals that you can do um, that will cleanse your energy, that will bring healing, that will aid you as being this spiritual um counselor this master healer or this teacher or leader whoever you are it's like they're there to support you um and they they right now there's a focus on watching what you're eating so that you can be able to communicate more smoothly uh so that messages and downloads can come to you more effortlessly okay thank you angels and ancestors what message do you have for us today ancestors Tree of Life energy is here, okay? So the way that I've been given the energy of the Tree of Life, even in past readings, um, I may have mentioned this before, but it's like every branch on the tree <clears throat> is tied to a different ancestor, okay? Every branch on the tree, there's a different ancestor from a different past life that you have a connection to. And it's like they want to connect to you, but maybe you haven't been taking care of yourself. Maybe you've been um, eating too much meat. Maybe you've been partying too much. Maybe you've been um, not working out, okay? Not drinking enough water. Things like that, okay? Also, paying attention to what you listen to. Maybe you've been allowing the wrong people to feed your soul and your spirit. Just pay attention, okay? If there's some type of spiritual diet they want you to go on, I am seeing that. So we have family connections, okay? It says respect. It says people and kinship, okay? So we got family connections out here. Yeah, it's like these people that are, these are ancestors. Connect with your uh, past loved ones. These people, they were once here. They walked this earth, and they got some messages for whoever you are. Okay. They like, we're trying to get some messages to you, but we need you to, we need you to do a little better with what you're allowing to feed your spirit or your soul. Okay. There's some family, this family, this is all family. They want to connect with you so you can connect more with your soul tribe. Okay. Or with your collective. All right. There's something they want to show you how to grow. You could start to grow your own food. Okay, you could have recently um, went to the store and bought some seeds to be able to grow your own fruits and vegetables or some form of vegetation, okay, plants, things like that. It says, embrace your inner gypsy. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have spirit guides, insight, guidance, and purpose, okay? Yeah, it's like they, they're guiding you. They want to show you something. They also want to show you 
something about communication. Clearing the lines of communication. Excuse me, spiritual judge to confirm. There's a lot of people that you are intended to connect with and socialize with and be around and network with and, and assist. It's just like you have a lot. Your job, whoever you are, it's big. And it requires you being able to show up. You being able to show up for yourself, but more importantly, you being able to show up for others as well. There's a lot of healthy connections, a lot of soul tribe members that you're about to, I feel like you're about to be connecting with a lot of people. Confirmation with that horn. So the um, embrace your inner gypsy card says freedom, fun, and music, okay? They want you to sense these natural remedies and investigate them. And then they want you to instill and respect them. So they want you to respect the freedom of what these, these, these remedies are providing you or what they're doing for you, the benefits. They want you to reap the benefits of this. It's some type of gift that's coming towards you. And this gift that you have or this gift that they're going to be giving you or passing down to you, it's going to change your life. It's like once you once you catch it on what it is there, you're like, oh, okay. It's a lot of gatherings, a lot of gathering energy, a lot of togetherness, a lot of unity. If I'm looking at all these cards, four out of the six of these cards, they have it's you and other people. For somebody out there, something that you eat is gonna help you manifest. I know that sounds weird, but you are what you eat, right? You are who you hang around, right? You are your environment. Oh, they're trying to get you to feel the balance. They want you to feel balanced. They're going to be sending you a lot of signs and symbols. A lot of instructions. You're about to be given a lot of instructions. You're about to also be given a lot of people. I know that sounds funny, but there's a lot of people that's coming toward you. This is going to be fun. Like you're going to be networking and socializing more. More than you have previously. They also want you to reconnect to the earth, nature spirits, so birds and trees. And I used to do the, the bird of paradise reading whenever I heard the birds, but I hadn't heard them here lately. So you could be getting ready to hear a lot more bird activity, a lot more communication from animals. Some of you all out there, you can talk to animals, you understand them. Somebody here, you're a horse whisperer or you're an animal whisperer, okay? These connections that you're going to be making with the animals or with these nature spirits, whatever they are, they could be fairies, they could be rocks, they could be um, water, it could be earth, air, whatever it is. Like you could hear voices in the wind, somebody. It's a vibe like you're going to be doing this, but you're going to be using whatever you hear, whatever you learn, whatever you gain, okay? Um, this could be somebody's clear audience turning on, okay? Um, you could be or activating, reactivating, something like that. But it's a vibe. Whatever it is you're going to be hearing with these nature spirits, um, you're going to be educating others on what you've learned. This is a new gift coming in. I'm hearing a powerful shift. Get ready, you guys. All right. I hope I give you as much information as I can. That's all I have right now. That's all I have. For somebody out there, you need to get in the earth. You need to actually put your hands in the earth. You need to actually play in the dirt, <laughs> okay? You're going to receive some form of healing when you do this. There's also a connection that's going to be made when you do this. Somebody, you need to go outside and dance outside. I know that sounds weird, but for somebody, you do. You need to get outside. You need to get outside. 
for somebody you need to sit in the earth. One of you needs to sit in the earth. Another of you, you need to play with the dirt or plant something. I feel like a lot of you are going to be planting something new. This could be in the physical form of like planting plants, flowers, trees, but this could also be um, like some of you, this could also be a vibe where you're like actually planting some new seeds, like you're, you're manifesting something. Somebody, like I said, I see you growing your own food. For somebody here, you're going to start to grow something and it's going to feed your whole village or your whole city or your whole nation, your whole, like you're going to feed some, you're going to feed people, somebody you're meant to feed. You're meant to feed the needy. You're meant to feed the homeless, the hungry with whatever it is that you grow. It's meant to be shared. I'm hearing stored and delivered. Okay. So you're going to have plenty Whatever this is, you're going to have a lot of it to, to share, to give, to hand out, to provide, to deliver. Someone here, you're going to create something. You're going to, you're going to grow it and you're going to deliver it to people. You could be delivering meals to people. I'm hearing something about Meals on Wheels. Okay, maybe you're creating your own version of Meals on Wheels. But this could be Meals on Wheels for the needy. Okay, somebody, you, you do that. You take part in that. You feed, you feed the less fortunate. But something about what you're feeding people. Somebody here, you're feeding people more than just food. It's like you put a lot of attention and love and and healing. So so you put a lot of love in your food. But let me tell you, this morning is weird. I don't know why. I've, I've thought about smoking weed and I haven't been smoking weed in a long time, y'all. But I, it crossed my mind like, dang, I wish I could smoke, but I can't right now, right? So anyway, then my mind went to thinking about how like, how do people grow these different strands of weed and, and how is it, somebody, you could have a weed farm, okay, I don't know. You could own a shop, maybe you live somewhere where weed, weed is legal, okay, but it's this vibe um, where like, I was like, dang, like, how do they come up with these different strands? And I started thinking about how, like, dang, do they sit with the plant and like, do they play the plant a specific type of music? Do they, um, do they, they talk to the plant a specific kind of way or with a specific tone to make it be, you know, sativa or to make it be a tranquilizer or to make it be, you know, whatever these crazy names, cotton candy, you know what I mean? Do they just sit the, the weed around something really sweet? Like how does the weed, and I don't mean literally, but in my mind, I just kind of thought about it. And then God was like, so in my mind, like I was saying, it's like, how does the, the plant actually take on that energy to where when you smoke it, um, it makes you feel a certain type of way? Well, it's the same as with food. It's like for somebody, you're realizing that where you get your food from matters. Who you allow to feed you, it matters because it's a vibe where there's somebody, if they're, if they're grieving or they're not in a good energy or they're low vibrational and they cook for you, you're taking on the energy of that. Just as in a weed plant, if you get a weed plant and this plant's been nurtured and it's been talked to and it's grown really big and strong and this, this plant has been made to be peaceful, they, I don't know, like I said, I don't know how they do it, but it's a vibe of like certain things. It's the same with food. Some type of connection is here. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to catch it. But it's this vibe where, like, basically, you're the food. You're the plant. And whatever you desire for yourself, however you desire to be received when people are around you, that's what you need to be feeding yourself. That's the energy or environment that you need to be around. So if you desire to be peace to somebody, then you need to make sure you're feeding yourself peaceful things. Um, if you, because it's like you're that strand of weed. I hope this makes sense for somebody out there. I kind of, I'm getting it. I get it. I get it, Holy Spirit. But something's shifting with you, with your energy, with your frequency, and how you nurture and feed it. The potency that it will have once it's been nurtured and fed. I'm hearing the climaxing of your energy. The climax. Okay. I'm hearing a taking out the trash. The taking out of the trash event is about to occur. I just heard that very clearly. Y'all, this has been your read, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and... Um, 
I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.